Hello beautiful blockchain people, that's me again at CryptoSpine, this is my next cryptocurrency market over. So let's start, let's have a look at the prices of the major cryptocurrencies according to the site of CoinGecko. And as we see most of the major cryptocurrencies they have recorded additional price increase for the last 24 hours. So it definitely seems that the uptrend is resuming. And today let's have a look at the price chart of another cryptocurrency that is noticed in top 20. So recently we have analyzed Polygon, Filecoin, WeChain, Ethereum Classic, so uh, FTX token. So today let's analyze the price chart of Tron. Its current price is 9 cents 0.755. So today we will analyze the price chart of Tron. Of course we will start from the monthly time frame. And this is actually the monthly chart. But let me initially remove the unnecessary elements. And the current price is here 9.733. So this is the monthly chart. We are familiar to some extent with the price chart of Tron. In the first half of the year a solid price increase took place. After that in May a solid or a real bearish engulfing took place. So you uh, recently we have been talking about a lot of this technical formation about the bearish engulfing and this is exactly how it looks like a bearish candlestick that covers the body of the bullish one or the previous one also it has a local high below the previous one and a local low below the previous one so this is how it should look like so this is a bearish engulfing after that the price started to decline at the end of this decline we had something similar to a hammer candlestick and then the price rebounded. Now the price is in the phase of rebounding. I would like to mention that the previous candlestick or the confirmed candlestick for the month of September has uh, is a dodge actually. This is a dodge. So this indicates that the market was consolidating and I won't exclude continuation of this consolidation. Of course, if the positivity in the cryptocurrency market continues, then we may see continuation of this rebound. But in the worst case, I expect some kind of, let's say, consolidation. This is in the monthly chart. Now let's move on to the weekly one. This is the weekly chart. This is the price increase that took place earlier this year, followed by this consolidation. Here I want to share with you to highlight that we had a couple of bearish engulfing. So this is a bearish engulfing, a bearish candlestick that covers the body of the bullish one and that has a local high below the previous one and a local low below the previous one. Then we had another bearish engulfing here. So this was a sequence of two bearish engulfings and the price started to decline. So this is how it looks like and that's why I'm uh, showing you this bearish engulfing because it is useful when analyzing price charts. And of course this is a reliable signal if it happens in the monthly chart or in the weekly chart. In the shorter time frames it is not that reliable signal. Okay, so here we had this correction followed by a rebound. At the top of this rebound a fake bearish engulfing took place because here, yes, we have a bearish candlestick covering the body of the bullish one, but it has a local high above the previous one. It has also a local low above the previous one. So although we had some, let's say, correction here, I expect the price to rebound and hit this, let's say, range or level uh, once again. Because this is a fake, let's say, or not real, I would say, uh, bearish engulfing. So this is in the weekly chart. Now let's move on to the daily chart. So this is the daily chart. Here I would like to mention that we don't have any clear, let's say, technical formations or uh, candlestick formation. That's why let's just add the two key moving averages. In our case, this is the 30 day and 90 day moving average or the moving average. The first one is for the period of one month and the second one is for the period of three months or one quarter. So these are these two moving averages. 
Now, we see that they are moving sideways, but the faster one is above the slower one, so to some extent this is a small bullish signal. The price has received support at the three month moving average during this price decline and now has rebounded. And it is consolidating now at the 30 day moving average. I will consider two scenarios. A bullish one, the price breaks through the faster or the 30 day moving average and then the uptrend resumes. Or a second scenario is when it faces a lot of resistance from this moving average and then the price continues to move sideways and we have some kind of consolidation between these two moving averages for a couple of days. So this is what I expect in the daily chart. Now let me remove these technical uh, elements and move on to the 4-hour chart. So this is the 4-hour chart. Here I would like to say that, let's say that we had a price increase, actually we have and we had this actual price increase, then uh, we experienced or we've been in some kind of consolidation, but actually I would say that this is an ascending triangle or a trend continuation pattern. So this is the ascending triangle, this is the uptrend, so the ascending triangle is actually a break within this uptrend, and now we see that the price is exiting the triangle and probably it is resuming the uptrend. So I would say that it is highly probable that we are at the very beginning of the uptrend renewal because here we have an uptrend, then we had this ascending triangle, it's a common trend continuation pattern and now the price is exiting the triangle and probably resuming the uptrend. So that's it for today, fellas, about the price chart of Tron in the major time frames. Please share your point of view as a comment below. Of course, I wish you a very wonderful day, good luck in the financial markets, and I hope to see you in the next one. It was me again, Edgar Spock.